Oh my gosh, Chuck. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> that was such an amazing introduction. And I'm going to tell you guys something about Chuck. He knows what he's talking about. I've been working with Chuck for about five years now. And, you know, he is an incredible leader, mentor. And without him, I wouldn't be sitting right here in front of you guys today. So huge shout out to Chuck. Amazing job on your training. Also, Tim, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I am so like humbled, nervous, just everything and excited. Hi, we good family. <laughs> I'm excited to be here today and just, I feel extremely lucky to be on this call. Uh, all my live good dreams are coming true. They're just coming true like way faster than I ever thought they would. Thank you so much, Tim, for allowing us to be on this call. And Ben and Nodder, thank you for coming out of retirement. Holla, who's happy that Ben came out of retirement, guys? We love, 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 live good. So, uh, and I also want to say thanks to Courtney for setting up that meeting last weekend. That for me was confirmation. Meeting Dr. Ryan and Lisa, seeing their passion for the products. I am kind of a product person and I love to see that they care about the ingredients and they're passionate about what these products are doing for people. And talking to Ben and he came to lunch with us and just so cool, you guys, that him and his son sometimes pack boxes on the weekends. I mean, you talk about a humble guy, but anyway, that was amazing. That was confirmation for me. And I cannot wait to introduce you guys to my best friend, Michelle. You're going to love her, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I'm respectful of your time. And today, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how every second counts, the importance of time, how we choose to spend that time. And it is a choice is I want you to be aware. I'm going to demonstrate how when you do become aware of where you're disposing of your time, it's going to be transforming for your business. When I started in network marketing, guys, I had I had just moved back from California, but I had to do it online because I, I had a kid in grade school. I didn't know anybody. I'm like, who am I going to meet, right? So I had to do it online. I had to make it work online. So of course, I'm like, okay, I'll do this on social media. Well, <laughs> I would go to TikTok to network. I mean, who, who's been down the TikTok Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> Put in the comments if you have. I would go there and I would spend, you know, like two hours later, I would be like, what just happened? How many mindless videos did I just watch? Who can relate? So, uh, you know, I was really kind of struggling in my business because I was wasting time and I didn't even know it. So I saw this video that Jim Rohn did. Who knows Jim Rohn? He's, he's amazing. And he was talking about time. He loves to talk about time and how you spend your time. And so it really hit me that I was not being intentional about how I was spending my time. So it wasn't until I started being intentional that I started to have more success. But who am I? Why should you listen to me? I think that's always a question that should be answered when somebody has the floor. Uh, like Chuck said, I'm a 20 year entrepreneur. I had a retail store for 10 years that I sold at a profit. Uh, I wanna tell you a story about my retail store because you know I think this is something that you can probably maybe not relate to on the fact of being a business owner, but relate to the feeling. So I had had my store about two weeks. I had been running ads. I had gone and hustled all around town. Back then it was legal. You could put flyers on, uh, you know, windshields at Walmart. So me and the kids, we'd go out and put, you know, flyers up and put them up in grocery stores and all that. I've done all that. So um, it was about two weeks in and I'm sitting there and no one's coming in the door. Nobody's walking in the door. It's it's the afternoon. It's like two, three o'clock and nobody's coming in. And I just started to crumble. I was like, I'm a failure. This ain't going to work. Um, you know, I mean, I, I literally, I started bawling in my store. Thank God nobody was in there. So I called my mom who always, who, who else calls her mom when they're crying? I mean, <laughs> she was always, you know, that rock for me, that person that encouraged me. She kept me from quitting basketball in eighth grade because I got mad at a coach or whatever. She said, okay, you want to quit? You finish out the season, then you can quit. Well, I didn't quit and I went on to get a scholarship, play in college and all of that. So, you know, it was because my mom, you know, taught me early not to quit. So I call her, I'm bawling. I'm like, mom, I'm such a failure. God, why is this happening? And, you know, of course she's being her normal encouraging self. And I look over while I'm talking to her and I see a stack of flyers that I had left over from me and the kids going out and hustling around town. And, you know, I, I say, mom, I got to go. I got to go. And I said, I love you. I'll call you later. And I hung up on her. And 
I walked over there and I picked up that stack of flyers and I walked out the front door of my store and I started walking up and down the sidewalk and I, it, it was like a strip mall, you know, Steinmart. I don't know if y'all heard of Steinmart, but it was on the end. It's kind of a big store, but we had a lot of locally owned businesses in the strip mall. And I walked down and every person that I met, I handed them a flyer and I said, you know, hi, I introduced myself. I told them I just opened a store a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, I, I was handing out, I went into neighboring businesses. I introduced myself and the point of this story, what I'm trying to tell you is that in that moment of me, like crying and wanting to quit, I decided to take action and guys, action cures everything. One of the people I handed out a flyer to ended up coming in my store later that afternoon and spending like two, $300. And I was so grateful. I was, you know, I was like, I didn't have a dry day in my business. So, you know, how many of you guys can relate? How many of you guys have been in your network marketing business or maybe had a store or whatever, and you were sitting there and nobody was coming in the door. Nobody was joining your business and you just wanted to quit and you wanted to cry. I want you to know that sometimes those moments where you are struggling the most, that is where you're going to find out how strong you are. That is when God is going to tell you, get into action. And that action is going to fix your problem. (laughs) It's going to help your problem. Now, of course, I've been to this place numerous times building the network marketing business. And, you know, fast forward to now, like Chuck said, I've been in the business five years and we had moved to California and I lost my mom during that time. My best friend, my rock lost her during that time. Uh, But we moved back to Texas and uh, that's when I started. And I got so blessed. This angel fell out of the sky named Chuck Holmes. And I was <laughs> scrolling around looking for something to do online and came across his blog. And just want to, again, say without his mentorship, you know, I would not have been able to do what I've done. Um, I was coachable and he coached me. And I was able to become a top leader in the two companies we were in. Uh, the last one we were in four years. So there's a quote, nothing is more expensive than missed opportunity. I know you've heard that quote and missed opportunities, I think, are the most difficult for us to quantify. When we think of our common understanding of growth and success, we know it takes sacrifice. We know that doing the work gets the results, right? It's a, it's a simple formula. X equals Y. If we go to the gym six days a week and we pump iron, that's X, then six months later, we're going to have the body we want. That's Y. But what's the cost of not taking those steps and, and, take, and doing that journey? Our instinct is to not question the actions that we don't take. We are real good at setting goals. Who's good at setting goals? And, and, and think about, oh, in three months, I'm going to be diamond. Or in six months, I'm going to be diamond. We're great at setting a goal. We're great at, you know, this is what we're going to do. This is the steps we're going to take. And this is where we're going to be in six months. But how often do we think about, where are we going to be if I don't do these steps? Where am I going to be? And I want you to sit in that for a minute and think where you're going to be in three months if you don't value your time, okay? So I'm going to tell you a story about Jim Rohn. I just mentioned him a minute ago, and I love him. If you love Jim, put a yes in the comments. So Jim was talking about a guy who joined his business, his network marketing business, and this guy was a successful CEO. I mean, he was really proud of himself. And he was like, I work hard every day. So when I come home, I put my feet up, I turn on the TV, I I pour me a glass of whatever, my favorite drink, and I watch a couple hours of TV. So one day Jim was over at his house and he said, you know, he said, John, whatever his name was, he said, John, how much did that TV cost? And John said, you know, proudly, he's like, well, I think I paid about 500 bucks for it. And Jim stops him and he corrects him. And he said, no, that television is costing you $40,000 a year. So what was the point of that story that Jim Rohn tells? It's not that the TV costs $500, right? It's the opportunity cost of sitting there for two hours watching TV every day. That's how you quantify, guys. That's how you realize what the true cost of wasted time really is. If you are mindlessly... Uh, scrolling Facebook or TikTok like I was, <laughs> you know, watching reels for like two hours a day. That's 14 hours a week. That's 56 hours a month. And that's 672 hours a year. If I messed the math up, please put in the comments. 
But when you start to look at those numbers, they become eye-opening because time is our most precious commodity. Time is the only thing we can't get back. How we choose our time is the gateway to transformation. You are transforming every day, whether you think you are or not. The only question is, are you transforming into the person you need to become to hit your live good goals and hit your dreams? Or are you moving away from them? I promise you, you are not staying in the same place. Who has read the book by Jeff Olson? It's called The Slight Edge. If you've read that book, put it in the chat. Love him. And he talks about the things you do daily and how there's a cumulative effect at the end. It's easy to take a walk every day. It's easy not to take a walk every day. The things that make you successful, guys, a lot of times they're easy to do and they're easy not to do. And all it takes, and that's why I want to talk about this today, all it takes is a little bit of awareness of how we're disposing of our time. Everything has a cost. In choosing to do one thing, realize you are choosing not to do something else with your time. Now, I'm not saying you need to build your live good business 24 seven, you know, and that, that you shouldn't have any wasted time. I think we all need wasted time. I, I think Keith Urban wrote the song, Wasted Time. <laughs> Those are the best moments of our life, right? But are we sectioning off and being intentional? Are we prioritizing our time to reach our dreams? Because just because you don't notice something slipping away doesn't mean it isn't. Just because you don't notice it slipping away doesn't mean your dreams are not slipping away, guys. Time does not stop. If you think about that rock hitting the ocean or, or the water hitting that rock in the ocean or, or in the river, slowly that water, you're not seeing it break down that rock. But one day that rock is going to be sediment. Certain rocks are going to be sediment. But every day it chips away at that. And that's exactly what is going on in your life every day. So I'm going to close with this. How we manage respect and utilize our time ultimately determines our success. And it is crucial to be mindful of how we're spending our time and make conscious choices that align with our values and our goals. Check your dreams with everything you do. Don't do a gut check, do a dream check. Is choosing me to do this today gonna bring me closer to my dreams or further away? There's a quote. Don't lose the possibilities of tomorrow with the distractions of today.